Designer Note Subject 67. Morris unveiled their much-hyped and documented Caliber 400 just a few months ago. Today, RS added a 1 on that Caliber designation, the Carl Brashear Caliber 401. Is it worth the upgrade? And if you already have a Carl Brashear Bronze Diver 65, would this be a worthy follow-up to your collection? Let's dive right in. Like, comment, and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us at Instagram at designatelieruba for behind-the-scenes content. Email us at designatelierviewer at gmail.com. The partnership between Oris and the Carl Brashear Foundation has been very fruitful, paving the way for this, a third watch to support this good cause. All of the Carl Brashear models were limited and sports a bronze case within the Diver 65 range. This bronze case is an homage to the bronze helmet that Carl wore during his dives. These 40mm cases will become unique over time as the owner's skin composition will patina the watch in different ways and unique solely based on the wearer. This watch will be the first to offer the new in-house caliber 401. We expected Oris to roll out these new calibers as they become more and more comfortable with their own manufacturing ability. There are only a couple of differences between the Caliber 400 and the Caliber 401. On the Caliber 401, the seconds hand is located at the 6 o'clock position, a small second subdial configuration. Also noticeable is that there is no date complication on the Caliber 401. Everything else is shared between the 400 and 401 calibers. Oris claims that these Caliber shears will be accurate to plus 5 or minus 3 seconds per day. It has a 5-day power reserve and anti-magnetic to 2250 gauss. Not to miss is also the fact that this movement is also operating at 4 Hz, which is considered by many as a high beat frequency. It also has a hacking feature, which is perfect for precise timing and setting. Blue and bronze is very appealing visually. There is a high contrast between the dark and cool color of navy blue opposed to the orange hue of bronze. Of course, bear in mind that it won't stay bronze, so take as much Instagram shots as you can while it's in its native color. On the dial, the gilt hour markers stand out pretty well over the dark blue surface. This dial still evokes the deep blue waters of the ocean that appears pitch black in some angles. There's an applied loom on the hour markers and hands as expected with these functional dive watches. Not everyone is a fan of these faux patina looms, but it seems harmonious in this watch. Still on the dial, there are numerous texts that garnish the subdial at 6. There's two lines of text for the water resistance, and two more lines below for the power reserve and Swiss made. This creates a bit of a design noise, but nothing too much to cause visual imbalance. The texts are done in white to further provide a tonal interest that accents the watch from the dial down to the strap. Above this dial is a double dome sapphire crystal. Expect extreme legibility with uncompromising durability. The bronze unidirectional bezel of the Carl Brashear Caliber 401 has a loom dot at 60. These bezel markers are embossed and exhibits a sandblasted texture on them. The case back is solid and made of steel. Although that you are getting a new Caliber 401 on this piece, you won't be able to gaze at it directly with this closed case back. We are, however, treated to some modest engravings with a very powerful message about getting up against adversities. The center is prominently decorated with a vintage dive helmet sculpture representing the helmets that Carl wore. The watch comes on a woven elastic nylon webbing strap, especially produced for this Carl Brashear Caliber 401 by Erica's Originals. It's pleasant to see that the buckles and tanks are all matching the bronze motif of the watch. 
The Marine National strap used here actually lends quite a bit to the watch. Being thin and elastic makes this strap appear far smaller compared to conventional NATO straps. By having a thinner profile, the watch itself now has more presence and attracts more attention. Priced at $4,200, it's less expensive than the Kalbrashir Chronograph but reasonably priced higher than that of other Diver 65s. This will be limited to 2,000 pieces that's beautifully presented in a wooden box along with a commemorative Master Diver medallion similar to what the Navy awards to its decorated divers. Oris has been criticized for having some issues with the Caliber 400. This has not deterred Oris from releasing the next movement iteration just a few months after. The price was also increased understandably because of the new in-house movements. So back to the question, is it worth to upgrade your current Calbrush here into this new one? Most things being considered, this version offers enough new things to add into the collection. If you have a Calbrush here already, you may not be so inclined to upgrade here. However, as a watch on its own, it's a worthy addition to your collection with its hard-to-beat caliber features and gorgeous aesthetics. These are all valid knocks against Oris. But with beautiful and thoughtful releases such as the latest Diver 65, Oris continues to push forward to 2021. In an inspirational way, the value of this watch may not come at all from its looks or technical abilities. It may be from what it represents. In our current social climate, where every news seems to be bad news, we may need a little Carl Brashear within us. Oris fully embraces his own words. It's not a sin to get knocked down. It's a sin to stay down.